What is going on, Yankees fans? I am back at it with another New York Yankees post-game recap, and there is a different feel about tonight's victory. I don't know what it is, not just because we beat the Astros, it's just because there is a different feel about this victory. It just ha it had a it had a playoff game type feel tonight. As uh, the Yankees win the opener over the Astros, 7-3 at Yankee Stadium, get to over 500, 15-14. We've now won four straight ball games, and Domingo Herman got the ball in this one. He kept us in the game. That's what I'll say about Herman. He kept us in the game, five innings, three runs. I didn't really think he was all that bad, but, you know, he wasn't great, you know, but you're going up against a good Astros offense. Uh, you know, they score a lot of runs, and Domingo Herman is one of our worst pitchers on this team, and he still pitched pretty well. So I'll give Herman credit. I didn't think he was that bad, but... You know, you would have liked, the, you know, the game not to be tied there. But still, I thought Herman did a good job in this game, you know, keeping us in it, you know, and giving time for the offense to score. Bullpen was bullpen was really good yet again. Didn't give up any runs. Didn't really make it close either. The bullpen did a really good job. And as for the offense, the offense was unbelievable. We go to the bottom of the first. Astros go up one nothing. Bregman hits a solo shot in the first inning. We're thinking, oh, boy, here we go. But the Yankees respond against Zach Greinke. Go to the bottom of the first inning. Then uh, LeMahieu singles up the middle. Then Aaron Judge. Um, I'm sorry, then Giancarlo Stanton is next. I'm, I'm not used to him being second. Stanton was right after LeMahieu. Gets a 2-0 breaking ball, a hanger from Zach Greinke, and he crushes it to left field, and it's gone. A two-run blast for Stanton. Yankees in front, 2-1. to one. Bases loaded. No outs with Clint Frazier at the plate. Not a good job by Clint Frazier. Grounds, grounds into a double play, but doesn't get the RBI. Run scores, makes it 3-1. to one. I'm not going to give credit to Clint Frazier. Clint Frazier has been really bad this year. He's been atrocious at the plate. He continues to struggle. He granted, you know, a run scored, but, you know, it wasn't really, it was, you know, he didn't really deserve the credit for it. So he grinded into a double play. Run came in to score, made it a 3-1 Yankee lead. Then the Astros ended up tying it. Uh, I know Gurriel hit a ball to the wall. I thought it was going to, I thought it was gone when he first hit it, but they overturned it to a double. And that, 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 that ended out tying the game. I don't remember how the other one was scored. Oh, yeah, uh, Michael Brantley had a home run. Brantley had a homer, and then Gurriel had the double to tie. It made it 3-3. Three to three. How did the Yankees respond here? Well, we go to the bottom. It was the sixth inning. We had bases loaded, two outs, with the most clutch hitter on this team, DJ LeMahieu, the machine. And he gets a breaking ball kind of in the dirt, scoops it down, uh, you know, down the left field line. It was a soft ground ball. A run comes in to score, makes it 4-3. to three. And then Bregman, you saw him in the dug. Did you see him in the dugout after the home run that he hit in the first inning? He was like screaming and flexing and all that stuff. He makes that he makes an error throwing to first base. It goes back behind Gurriel. Two more runs come into score, and now we're up six three. So the Yankees are breaking. They have broken it open at this point in time. And Stanton in an RBI single. He has been scorching hot at the plate. Makes it a seven three Yankee lead. And, you know, with this bullpen that we have, at that point, I, I, knew, the, I, I knew the Yankees were going to win this game, you know. Um, Letke came in, was a little shaky, but got the job done. Chad Green pitched well. Even Juan De Peralta pitched well. Uh, the, the bullpen was really good. The bullpen was very solid yet again. And they found a way to shut down the Astros. So that's always a good thing to see there. Stanton, un unbelievable. Four for five for Stanton. I think he's hitting like over 300 now. There was a point in time where he was hitting 170, and everybody was booing him. He, myself, I was talking a lot of trash about Stanton. I, 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 I didn't think he deserved the contract he got. Well, he's been proving me wrong. He has been unbelievable as of late. Four hits. He's now batting over 300. I, I think he. I think he's now batting over 300. So he's been unbelievable for this team. And the thing that I'm loving out of Stanton, he's not trying to hit the ball out of the yard every time. He's trying to put the ball in play and be productive for your base, you know, for your teammates. And it's been working. He has four hits in this game. He hasn't really been swinging for the fences at all. And the guy's hitting 300. He's been unbelievable as of late. So I got to give props to Stanton. He's been unbelievable. And, you know, I got to apologize. I mean, I, was ta I talked a lot of crap about him early on in the season. You know, when he was hitting 170, I was talking a lot of crap about him. Well, he's been proving me wrong, you know. Great day for Stanton. Um, who else am I forgetting? Oh, um, LeMahieu, of course, had two hits in this game, as he always does. The guy's a beast. Um, Urshela had a hit in this game. I think even Aaron Hicks had a hit, which is mind-boggling because the guy never gets hits. But overall, a great night for the offense. It was mainly Stanton, you know, was, was the highlight of the offense. And obviously, um, um, LeMahieu getting the, the hit and then the error. So 
the offense did a great job in this game. They hit with men on base. They got timely hits, you know, and it worked out. So Yankees win 7-3 over the Astros. And by the way, did you see the chance they were shouting at Jose Altuve? I kind of wish I was in the stands with them because they were letting Jose Altuve hear it. They were yelling cheater. They were yelling blank Altuve. They were yelling. I, I'm not against that, you know, but the, the crowd was crazy tonight. It, again, it felt, the crowd was so loud, it felt like a playoff game. It really did. It, it really did. It felt like a playoff game. If you agree with me on that, drop a like. It felt like a playoff game, in my opinion. But great, great win tonight to beat the Astros after, you know, they robbed the Yankees of a World Series appearance in 2017 and Judge obviously getting the MVP. Judge, e even with the cheating, Judge still should have won the MVP. I don't even know how he didn't win the MVP that year, but he's a real 27 M 2017 MVP. We all know that. But Yankees win 7-3 over the Astros as the Yankees look to win the series tomorrow night with Jordan Montgomery on the mound against Luis Garcia for the Astros. That name sounds familiar, but it's probably another Luis Garcia that I'm thinking about. But Luis Garcia for the Astros and Jordan Montgomery on the mound for the Yankees as the Yankees look to win the series against the Astros and get revenge after they took the 2017 World Series after a possible championship in 2017 away from us. So that is going to do it for this video. If you were pumped up about this win, drop a like, drop, drop a comment, your thoughts on the game. And subscribe to the channel. If you have not already, subscribe to the channel. I upload, for every Yankee game, I upload my reaction to the game. Um, you know, talk about, you know, share my thoughts on the game. Share, you know, talk about the players. Talk about how the pitcher did. All that stuff. So if you are a Yankee fan, drop a like. And also subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you, so you do not miss any of my videos. If, if you enjoyed the crowd tonight, if you heard the chants on TV, um, you know, what was your favorite chant <laughs> that they were shouting at the Astros? I'd love to know your thoughts on that down in the comments below. So that is going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow night. Peace. Go Yankees.